so now we're going to go ahead and I made this roast beef yesterday in the crock pot and I really should have added potatoes and carrots to it. I don't know why I didn't do that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it into a second meal. We ate the meat and we still have a, all that left. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add carrots from the garden, potatoes from the garden, and then I have a pepper. We're going to add just a little bit of everything. We'll go ahead and cut all this up and then we'll put it in the crock pot. So when I make potatoes, when I cook potatoes, I always leave the skins on unless I'm making mashed potatoes. Then I will take the skins off, but the skin is where a lot of your vitamins and nutrients are. And if you grow your own, there's no pesticides or anything like that. So it's really nice growing your own food. So I'm going to leave it in fairly big chunks. All right, I'll get back to you in just a moment. All right, and I found these tomatoes. Now I have my own, but I was cleaning out my pantry and I found these and they expired at the end of 2020, which they're still fine. So I'm just gonna add these tomatoes to it. And that's just gonna really make things cook down. I might add a little bit of brown sugar. I'm not sure yet. All right, this could go in the crock pot on high for four hours. <laughs> I like the label in this can so much. It looks really old school. I decided to keep it. I'm gonna wash it off and I'm gonna plant seeds in it. So what I've been doing all of these weeks is using up things that I had in my pantry. And today I'm gonna to make some disinfectant spray. This is using witch hazel. Witch hazel is an astringent and also has some antibacterial qualities to it. And it's not so harsh like it would be for rubbing alcohol. As you know, I really don't like the scent of vinegar too much. And so vinegar would be the best choice, but witch hazel is another thing that you can make. And today we're gonna to make bathroom and kitchen spray. What we do is get some spray bottles, put this in, and then the essential oils is lemongrass and eucalyptus. So eucalyptus and lemongrass, it makes amazing scent. And this will last me about six months and using up what you have. One thing that's really nice is in times of plenty, you stock up on things for when it's in times of need. And that way you aren't needing it because you already have it. And I'm utilizing everything here on the homestead because I'm not spending anything extra. You guys have seen a video. My husband bought me a new rototiller. Well, he bought me that two days before we came with this bad news about this hospital bill not being paid by what we thought was insurance. And it was. finish my chores. And now I gotta clean up. Right.
So we've got lots of questions. And I love answering the questions if they're respectful and they're nice, of course. So I thought I would answer some questions for you guys today on, I guess you call it a heart to heart. All right. Questions like, why don't you get a job? Questions like, I'm gonna answer all kinds of questions. It's getting really, really hard for me with all the comments that I get to answer everybody's questions all the time. So we're gonna answer some very generic questions. We're gonna answer some personal questions and then we're gonna just talk about the day. So the biggest question I get is, why don't you get a job? You talk about low income and poor living and all of these things. If you would get a proper job, you wouldn't be that way anymore. Well, there you go. That's a very good question. I've got asked that probably a hundred times in the course of my YouTube videos. Well, let's start and break it down. I'm gonna start in the very beginning of why I didn't get a job and then I'll go into why I don't have a job today, but I do have a job. So I'll share that with you all. You know, if you didn't grow up like I grew up, that would be a really good question because that would be understandable because in the world we live in today, you know, men work and women work. When I grew up, I was born and raised into a family that the wife and mother stayed at home. She was the keeper of the home. Even before she had children, she was the keeper of the home. Now, yes, in some circles, there are plain women that work away. Generally, they will work away in plain businesses. So you will not find a plain woman most likely working at McDonald's or a franchise like that. Generally, a plain person will work in a plain business. You know, maybe their aunt and uncle have a business or things like that. I grew up being a stay-at-home mom. My husband was the head of the home. He still is the head of the home. And he worked away and I stayed at home. That followed me all through the years before YouTube. And then when YouTube came along, for the first time in my life, I opened up a bank account in my name because I had to, because I had a YouTube channel in my name. I did so many firsts. Uh, it's just unbelievable. So I do pay in Social Security quarterly, and I pay that in. I am earning Social Security for the first time in my whole life. Now this is the second year I'm earning it, or the third year, basically the third year I'm earning it. And I pay taxes like everybody else. I earn a paycheck every single month, like other people who work away. I do work away. I get paid for the videos that I make. Now, do I get paid a lot? Well, it all depends. I've had some years I got paid very nicely. I've had some videos that went viral years ago and I got paid very, very nice for those videos. Have I been paid a lot lately? Nope. This year has been a kind of a rough year as far as YouTube. But YouTube chooses who they want to promote and I'm not being promoted these days and I can speculate as to why I'm not being promoted, but that's all speculation and it really doesn't matter. But I am being paid. I also have another way that I'm being paid and that is by Amazon. So I do product reviews for Amazon and I get paid a little bit of pocket change there as well. And yes, I pay taxes on that money. In fact, they're not very kind to us with YouTube because our taxes, even though we can take a lot of things off as far as business expenses, for the amount of money that we make, the taxes are pretty high. <laughs> it's just crazy. But that's how it is with small businesses. So I do work away, but I work at home. So I do have an income. I do work. I work at home and I enjoy working at home. I don't want to work away and neither would my husband like that. He wouldn't want me working away in the public. 
that's just the way I was born. That's the way I was raised. That's the way my husband was born and raised. That's how my ancestors and his ancestors lived. So I hope that answers your questions on all of you who ask why I don't get a job. I do have a job. You know, I think a lot of times people think that YouTubers have it easy. Really, it's not easy at all. It's a very hard work. It's a lot of work that goes into making the videos. Yes, you work at home, but it is a lot of hard work and effort. And there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that you will never see. All of the editing and all of the work uploading and downloading it takes. So there's a lot to YouTube than what you see in just in the video. But YouTube has been an amazing blessing in my life. Homestead Tessie with another product review. Remember years ago, back in the 70s and 80s, they had the salad shooter. This is the salad slicer. And what it does, you can slice just about anything that you want to put it in a salad. You can grate and slice. It has all kinds of blades with it. Let me show you. So we have all kinds of different grating blades, slicing blades, and shredding blades. It comes with five different blade settings five of them. Very easy to put together. There is a button here that you push down. You put another blade in and the button will go down. Let's go ahead and let's put it together. Today we are going to shred some cheese. All right, we're going to continue to slice this cheese. This is Velveeta, so it's very soft. I'm really surprised it worked this well. 